Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Mbulelo. My name is Boele. Originally from Cape Town. I've uh, been with Deloitte for four years now in the art bands. Um, most of the four years I've been in Cape Town, I've just moved up to Joburg. And my dad is from Benoni. And well, I wasn't actually close to him at the time, but yeah. And um, I got introduced to Livestruck by my manager called Philip Krobler. And he introduced me to Stu, and I went for the presentation. And through the presentation, after hearing the people's stories and people's um, experience, very touching. And I mean, there was a guy there, I can't remember his name, but apparently he used to, he used to be like really big and, and fat and everything. And it was all a combination of things. And when this guy stood up and when he said his story, I, I just saw myself through him, you know, and I was like, but that's the direction I'm heading, you know, I'm losing myself in this. So after hearing that guy talk, I, I went back to Philip and I said, you know what, this is me, you know. I'm a sporty guy because in high school I used to play a lot of rugby, a lot of hockey, a lot of cricket, even did swimming. And then when I started working, everything just went downhill because I wasn't gymming anymore, I wasn't, you know. Mm. And I started joining gyms there and there, but it wasn't helping because you only like serious for like a week or so and then the next you down again. In the first week then I'm going to cut down on smoking. So I didn't just quit, I just, I took two a day and so on. And when we got our first program of how many days you should run, when you should run, the time you must spend on running and stuff before the actual program started. When I did my first run, I couldn't run. I was just walking. And within that walking, I was breathing very heavy. Even now my breathing is only like, you know, it's still, still coming. And the second one, I said, well, why am I taking time in doing it? Let me just quit. So I quit. And it's not easy because you still hang around the same people that you kind of have these bad habits with. And, you know, and I'm not going to change my friends, but I'm just going to choose to be a healthier person amongst them. And, you know, so I quit and I told myself I'm sticking to it. And I did. And, I mean, I remember telling Wayne after the second week, I think, or the third week, um, and I was telling him I've stopped smoking and the first time he interviewed me he knew that I was smoking so he couldn't believe it you know he actually stopped the whole um, interview and he's like what the hell's going on <laughs> and I was like no I stopped smoking and and that's the thing about life track it's not it's not about getting fit that's part of it but it's more of a mental thing like it, it's the attitude you have towards life. So many excuses of not doing what you want to do. You ask yourself, why am I not gymming? You put an excuse there. No, I'm working. Why are you having a bad relationship with your dad? No, because it's a jerk. But you're not saying, can you maybe approach him? Have you tried this? Have you? It, 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 it's something that has to come from inside you. And that's what I did. I've got a shirt that I, was, I wasn't wearing anymore because it couldn't fit me. I'm wearing it now. That's why it's called Life Strike because it's not Gym Strike, it's not Fit Strike, it's not mm -hmm. Iron Strike, it, it's Life Strike. Yeah. You know, and for me, I mean, this thing has helped me bond my relationship with my father, which I never had. Uh, I'm trying to eat healthier, you know. Uh, I, I run, I go to the gym, I, and it feels motivating because being part of this crew, I'm not just with these fit guys all the time, I'm with people who who are just normal genuine people and they all have the same mission in mind and they carry your hand and they walk through it. With the healthier option that I've taken, it's I've, I've even got more energy, like I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing and um, within that I I don't, I don't feel down most of the time so even even my, my, my mental route has changed like I come to a, a happier person you know and it's because I did a run that morning. Yeah. I feel fresh. Um, it's, it's a big change in everything. Eh? Like even pe when people see you, they, they kind of see the oomph in you now. I think it's a, it's a nice mix of people. I mean, they're all from consulting and I'm from the, um, the JHR and D team. So I got to know some of the people there and it's a balance, it's a balanced group. So you, you get people that have their own agendas, but we all have the one goal in mind of creating the better you. You know, having the help you. And you see, even when the program stops, it's it's not to say um, I'm gonna go back to my old roots now, or whatever. This has given me a foundation of how to go on for healthier me.
and the healthy me wasn't just my body it was my mind it was my soul mm -hmm. and that's that's my immediate goal another thing about the group is oh about the live struck is that we on the runs that we do on Wednesdays we we are allowed to bring friends and family and stuff and the guys I worked with kind of decided that they want to join so my two managers actually do take runs with me and stuff and for me that is so motivating like you know seeing my managers and they flip in good runners <laughs> you know and yeah it, it's so motivating and I mean on Wednesday I come in at work and they're the ones asking me we're running today right <laughs> so it's it's perfect so I mean it, it's a closer bond even from a work side you know it's, mm. it, it's this has made me to be more in depth with my managers and it's not like we discuss anything when we're running but the fact of them being with me it's Hello. Right before. Don't keep me hanging. What is it? Oh, you see. Hello. Nice man. Nice man. Stop Where's the stick? I know you've been walking the whole way, now you start that. Give a fever! Give a fever! Keep it up, keep it up! Yo, Tyra, this is where you went wrong last time. You gotta go up there. <laughs> Just checking there's no cigarettes. Smiling. Sun is setting. We're coming up on our replacement to Oscar's Pretorius. The fastest man on crutches in the world. He's moving. Is that How's the fastest man on crutches? Thank you for the arms. Good work.